it. Um, so I'll make your little uh, two folded pamphlet book. And um, I've already got everything folded. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I've got an orange section I marked the top and a light purple section. And um, I also have the cover made in. Uh, I didn't have a piece of paper that was long enough, so I used um, two pieces of purple cardstock and I taped them together. So just pretend this isn't here. And I've already got this folded. And so it's folded like this. Here's the spine folds, which we won't be sewing through. Then we've got the two four edge flaps folded in. I've got two little tabs and these are an inch and a half wide. Um, I probably wouldn't go smaller than an inch um, and they lay better if they're like a little bit wider than an inch. They won't pop the paper out in the middle as much. So these have been um, punched through already um, in the same direction and they have little arrows pointing up just because I don't have text or anything to tell me which direction is up at this point. Um, so what you're gonna, how you're gonna work with this is you're gonna work with it with the cover bowed out like this and the holes inside facing each other and you'll stack in your sections like this. Um, I couldn't find any bulldog clips um, in my house so I'm gonna use bobby pins. So I'm gonna stack my sections together and I'm clipping the back of the section to like this basically. So there's the orange section and then I'll clip in the purple section. And this is just cardstock, so it's not gonna work out really well, but it will oh shoot. It'll be colorful enough for you to see what I'm doing. And my jig looks like this. Um, and I just have three holes, so that's how I'm going to show you how to stitch this. And for um, like a nine or ten inch book or smaller, three holes usually work the best um, because the resistance between the three won't rip as easily as, as four. If you get too close to the top, the pages rip sometimes when you turn them. So, okay, so these are all clipped in place. And we'll start sewing. So to start, I've got this blue thread and it's three times the length of the spine. I'm going to start from the inside fold because you want to hide the knot inside behind the cover so no one will be able to see your knot. So you're going to go in through the center and leave a tail, you know, so you can tie it off later. Then go to one of the end holes and back out the inside bit. So now we're going to join the two sections together. You go through the same corresponding hole in the orange section up at the top. So you can see right now I've got the tail and I've gone through and connected them. So I'm going to go through the center, the orange section, and I'm going to meet up where my little tail is, but I'm not going to tie it yet. So, um, you know, I've gone through my little tails right here. I'm going to go back through to the purple section inside, leaving my tail out. Back to the top other hole. And I'll make you a little drawn diagram because in case this is confusing the way I'm doing it. So now I'm back in the center again, and I'm going to go through... top hole in the orange section. Pull my blue thread through. So now I'm going to meet up in the orange section and I'm only going to put my needle through to the inside so I will meet the tails together. And this is the point when you can pull this all tight and you just want to make sure you're not pulling so hard that you rip the pages. Um, you just sort of shimmy it around. So both of the inside sections look like this. They just have two stitches, two pamphlet stitches there, and two pamphlet stitches here. And on the inside, you just have this little thing. Now, um, I'm pr 
pretty sure you know how to tie a square knot because of Boy Scouts, but um, it's like a regular shoelace knot, but whatever tail is on top the first time, you want to make sure it's not on top the second time. So um, you tie a square knot inside, um, and a square knot's the only way. So my left tail is on top this time. Is the only way it doesn't come loose or rip. And so then I want the right tail to be on top this time. So I tie the knot. So it looks like this in the inside. So then I'll cut my tails short to like, I don't know, like an eighth of an inch or something. So there's this little knot there. So I'll take my bobby pins off like this. And this is what the finished book looks like. So here's the spine. You can't see anything, but if you open it up, you can see it's sewn in with these little sections. So as we open it, here's the front cover, nice and folded. Ooh, and there's the purple section, a tab with our knot showing through. You can make sure that that gets tucked to the inside. Um, you're more careful than I am right now videotaping this for you. Another tab, there's the orange section and our back cover. Um, that's what the book looks like. Yeah, so hopefully this is what you want. Um, I have to go to work today um, from 1 to close, which is at 6, so I'll be home um, after 7 o'clock central time, uh, I can redo something else then if you need more help. Um, so I'm going to leave for work in about 20 minutes from now. It's about 11.40 um, in the morning in Missouri. Uh, so I'll draw your diagram and I'll email this to you and hopefully it's what you needed. Um, but you should uh, direct message me if you need help. I'll have my phone at work and I'll try to check it often. Okay, I love you. Bye.